Okay guys, so this is why does temperature affect KC? Definitely before you watch this video, you're going to want to watch another one I did, which is why concentration does not affect KC. Because that has a lot of stuff in it, which will really help you with this. So do watch that one first. Also in this video, I'm going to do it, and then at the end, I'm going to go into a bit more advanced stuff, which you'll only, you should only watch if you've done the entropy topic. So if you've not done entropy, you can still listen to this, but we're going to get to a bit at the end where I'm going to say, if you haven't done entropy, stop now, because it will be a bit confusing. So to sum up what we talked about in the last video, we can have a scale of 100% reactants and no products, going to 0% reactants and all products to tell us our ratio of the product to reactant concentration. And of course, we can also represent this as your products over reactants equals Kc. And these would be raised to the power of their molar ratio. Let's keep it simple and pretend they've got a molar ratio of 1 and 1. So, let's say that when we pop in our products over reactants to find Kc, it turns out the concentration of reactants at equilibrium because remember, Kc has to use the equilibrium concentrations. And let's say it turns out at equilibrium, your concentration of reactants is higher than that of your products. So that would mean your position of equilibrium lies to the left. And let's say we are at equilibrium. So your current position is at the position of equilibrium. This is what we talked about in the last video. I'm going to add a different axis to this graph now. I'm going to add a y-axis, and I'm going to call this stability. The stability of the mixture. Now, just to skip ahead a bit, if you have done entropy, this is actually the Gibbs energy, the G. If you're not done entropy, don't worry about it. We're just going to think of that as stability. Now, it turns out that the reason the position of equilibrium is the position of equilibrium is that's the bit when your molecules, your mixture, is the most stable. So if I kind of change this into a graph where the lower down we go, the more stable the molecule is. So up here, or, or the mixture is, up here we've got a very unstable mixture, that's unstable. And then as we converge on the position of equilibrium, your mixture becomes more stable, or has a lower G if you've done entropy. Well, what we said when we did concentration is that concentration does not change the position of equilibrium. It does not change which mixture, which combination of products and reactants is the most stable. All change in the concentration does is change your current position. But that will always slide back over time towards the position of equilibrium. Now, temperature is different. When you change the temperature, you actually change where the most stable mixture combination is, where your ratio of mixtures is the most stable. So let's say I change the temperature. What would happen now is the most stable mixture would either be to the left or the right, depending on what you did to the temperature. Let's say it's now over here. So now, our position of equilibrium is no longer here. Our position of equilibrium is here. And our current position is now no longer at equilibrium. So the reason that temperature affects Kc is because it actually changes where the position of equilibrium is. Whereas concentration and pressure doesn't change the position of equilibrium, it just changes where your current position is. So in this example here, my position of equilibrium has now shifted to the right, and so my concentration of reactants to reach equilibrium again would need to go down, and my concentration of products would need to go up. And so in this example, this would actually increase Kc, if you think about the maths of that. Increasing the top number would give you a bigger final answer. So Kc has changed because the position of equilibrium has shifted. And that's because it's changed which ratio of your mixtures is the most stable. 
So if you've not done entropy yet, just stop, stop the video now, we're done. If you have done entropy, I'm going to modify this answer a little bit to make it a little bit more accurate. So first of all, this isn't stability, this is the total Gibbs energy of the mixture. And if we think about our equation, we have delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. And for a reaction to happen, the change in Gibbs must be negative. Remember, so you have to have a negative delta G. So, let's say our current position is here. That has this Gibbs. So remember, only negative Gibbs can happen. So can my current position move to the left? Well, no, because that would mean a positive delta G. Look, it's getting higher. What it will do is slide to the right. Look, that's a negative delta G. It's becoming more entropically favourable. If my current position was over here, again, from there to there, that's a negative delta G. So it would slide back to the position. And you can see how temperature does affect where the G is, because look, temperature is in the Gibbs equation. So of course temperature is going to affect the Gibbs. Look, it has to. Assuming you keep the delta H and the delta S the same, which it would be, the temperature must change the Gibbs. And so that's, in a nutshell, why temperature affects Kc, because it actually moves the position of equilibrium. It's moving where your minimum Gibbs is in your ratio of concentrations. Thank you very much.